Retiring early might seem like an impossible financial goal, but with the right plan in place, it can be done. Financial independence retire early, or FIRE, is a method of living below your means to obtain financial independence and security as early as possible. They believe it's possible to retire sometime in their 30s or 40s. You heard that right. But how? Is it actually realistic to retire at age 45? Or even 35? Let's take a closer look at the FIRE movement to find out whether or not it's right for you. The goal is to save and invest aggressively, somewhere between 50 to 75% of your income, so you can retire sometime in your 30s or 40s. That's right, you need to save at least half of your income. People looking to pursue FIRE typically start by picking what's called a FIRE number which is the amount of money you need to have saved to generate enough income to cover your expenses without having to work. To determine your FIRE number, start off by figuring out your yearly expenses, excluding savings and taxes. From there, calculate how much savings you'll need to generate that much income without having a paycheck. One rule of thumb, known as the 4% rule, says that retirees can safely withdraw about 4% of their savings a year without running out of money. That means saving 25 times your current annual expenses could last indefinitely with regular 4% yearly withdrawals. Let's take a closer look. This is Johnny. If Johnny's living expenses are $4,000 per month, that means annual expenses are $48,000. And his FIRE number is 48,000 times 25, or $1.2 million. If Johnny withdraws 4% of his savings a year, his money could last indefinitely. Many people think they don't earn enough to be able to retire early. But there are several methods of reaching FIRE that could help them retire faster than they think. When making the decision to retire early, you should expect to make some significant lifestyle changes. Those changes could be as big as increasing your streams of income, or as small as cutting your own hair. It all comes down to either reducing how much you spend, or boosting how much you save. Or both. The first big barrier to following the FIRE movement is having a large income. And we mean large. No matter how much you cut down your lifestyle, it's going to take a big income, probably somewhere in the six-figure range, to have the ability to save enough to retire before your 40th birthday. But that shouldn't discourage you from building wealth. Anyone can do it. In our study of millionaires, we discovered that one-third of millionaires never had a six-figure household income in a single year. We also found that the average millionaire worked, saved, and invested for an average of 28 years before hitting the $1 million mark. Know that you can retire at any age as long as you have the income to do so. Calculate your FIRE number and create a plan to generate different passive income streams that can subsidize a work-optional lifestyle. If it feels overwhelming, consider creating a FIRE number range. Make sure your goal is reflective of your values and lifestyle preferences. Ultimately, even if you don't retire at an early age, calculating your FIRE number is a great way to start planning for retirement. For many, though, the anxiety around retirement extends far beyond money. People spend their entire adult lives working, and they get used to having that responsibility when getting up in the morning. For some, the lack of responsibility and routine scares them more than the dislike of work. It plagues many, whether you have plenty of money in the bank or not. Instead of fretting over this, it's best to practice what retirement would be like for you before you officially quit, or quit looking in some cases. What do you think you'd want to do if you retired? Hobbies are good to have, but also think of how you'd spend your time beyond the hobbies. Would you want to travel? volunteer? Start a side hustle? Test it out before your entire day relies on your willingness to enjoy the activity. By doing so, you might just find that retiring was exactly what you wanted all along. Will it require huge sacrifices? In reality, yes. It potentially means ditching Sunday brunch, takeaways, cutting out your TV subscriptions, and those lavish holidays, to name a few. Many who do the fire movement don't splurge on beauty treatments, online gadgets, or fancy restaurants. 
Others who have tried the FIRE movement have admitted this approach led to a free fall in happiness due to the self-imposed deprivation. Here's one way to look at FIRE. FIRE's principle is about flipping the way you look at money and saving the majority of your annual income and living off the leftovers. Lakeisha L. Simmons, PhD, was a 36-year-old working mom of two young sons when she got divorced in 2017. Now, 41, Simmons of Nashville, Tennessee, retired this year from her job as a college analytics professor by following the FIRE movement. She says following the FIRE method, or financial independence retire early, helped her reach that point. There are different variations of the FIRE method, including the lean FIRE, which Simmons followed, and which requires extreme frugality and lifestyle changes to retire early. And the fat fire, which involves people maintaining their original standard of living, but investing and saving up to retire early. I continually cut down my monthly expenses, she said. The Google Sheet she created at the start of her budgeting journey is something she constantly fine-tunes. I look at it once or twice a week and look line by line and say, how can I reduce this amount? she said. For example, the first thing I cut was the cable, and then I went to my grocery bill and looked for lower-cost grocery stores. Then I cut my mobile phone bill, and now my prepaid bill is only $180 for the entire year. If you educate yourself about how the stock market works, and you only invest money that you don't need right now, after you've fully funded your emergency savings account, you'll get a return over the long term. The need or the idea of retirement enters anybody's mind because of the monotony of what they're doing, whatever it may be. Somebody else may think it's a great thing, but in your experience somewhere it's becoming monotonous.